what should I be charging for my services? I get this question a lot as a business coach, and here's the thing. You can Google this for hours, or you can really just sit down, do the work, and figure it out for yourself. And then this video, I'm gonna teach you the steps to take to actually figure out what you should be charging for your services. I'm Emily, and I'm here to inspire and empower you to make the impact that you wanna make in your business and in your life. Before I get into this video, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button so you can get the notifications when I upload and you can listen to all of my content. Bef I also want to just say really quick for those who have been watching a lot of my content, I am now kind of going into the business direction. I have been working with some business clients, clients that are just starting out in their business and those that already have a business, but they don't know how to expand or grow or create even more income. So I've been working with them for the last uh, maybe two or three months. And here's the thing that I found out. I'm really, really good at explaining business. And I thought it would be a good thing to start adding these videos to my YouTube channel because I know there are a lot of people that want to get out of their nine to five, but don't necessarily know the steps to take. Or if they have a business, they don't know how to grow it. And that's something I have a strong business background. I've been in business for over a decade and I understand multi different of business. I've wrote tons of business plans, strategy and all of that. So that I took all of that and kind of packaged it together. I still do a lot of mindset <laughs> and my clients know if they're watching this video, they get mindset and business with me as their coach. But if you see me pivot it, pivoting a little bit in my YouTube channel, I am adding the business um, playlist for those that may need those resources. So it, to get into this video of what should I be charging for my services? There's really um, multi different ways you can figure out what to charge for your services. The way I like to break it down for my clients for it's, so it's really easy to understand so they know that they're on the right direction, the right path, and it makes sense to them and it's really effective is one, knowing your hourly rates. You have to know your hourly rates and I'm gonna share a formula with you so that way you can calculate your hourly rate today. And two, understanding what is the market for my services? Where do I find that? How do I understand what it is, right? I wanna maybe offer this service, but I don't know if there's a market or how much they would be willing to pay for that. And there's tons of ways you can go about getting that market research. The other part of it is your experience. So if you have five years experience, you're maybe gonna be able to charge a little bit more than those that don't have any experience. Maybe it's a new skill you just wanna start and you wanna to try to do that service, then you start at a different level. So I'm gonna break all of those down in, in I'm gonna break all of those down in this video so that way you can understand what you should be charging for your service. So number one, figuring out your hourly rate. This is very important because if you have someone that comes to you that you may not have a package together for them and they ask, they, they tell you, I want X, Y, Z, you have to be able to know your hourly rate so that way you can quote them a price based upon that. And it's really easy to figure out your hourly rates. So you figure out how much do you wanna make per year, you know? And when you go into doing this, do not come from a scarcity mindset. Because if you come from a scarcity mindset and you're like, oh, you know, I would settle for 70 or 80,000, when in reality you wanna make 100 or 200,000, it's gonna be a completely different hourly rate. So make sure you're in that abundance mindset and you have that shift before you go into actually doing this exercise. So figure out how much money do you wanna make per year? How many weeks do you wanna make? Do you wanna work? Per year how many weeks of vacation do you want so for example if you want six weeks of vacation you're only going to work 46 weeks out of the year right and then how many hours per week do you want to work and you take all that information and you divide those hours into your uh, say for example hundred thousand dollars that you want to make per year and that's how you get your hourly rate so i'm going to walk this through you we're going to use the example of you want to make a hundred thousand a year and you only wanna work 46 weeks because you want six weeks vacation. And out of those 46 weeks, you only wanna work 20 hours. So 46 weeks times the 20 hours is gonna be 920, 
hours, right? Because that's how many hours you're going to work in one year. You're going to take that information and the 920 and divide it by 100,000. It gives you an hourly rate of $109. Super easy, right? So now you know, you bare minimum, you have to charge $109 per hour. Now, some people are like, but I don't like the number of 109. Like I want to make it 99 or 199. Do whatever feels right for you. I'm just giving you an example. If you don't want to make 100,000, whatever it is, but just make sure that you understand what your hourly rate actually is. So that way you know what to charge for your services. So after you have that, your next step is really understanding the market for your services. What is the market? What are you offering? Who is your competitor? So there's a really easy way you can do that. With your competitor, understanding who, what kind of business am I building? Is it coaching? Is it, there's tons of ways for you to understand your competitors. Do some research, you know, Google on the internet, go to Instagram and look at whatever consulting you're offering or whatever service you want to offer, whether it's coaching, consulting, training, um, if it's personal training, how much are they paying in my area for this? If it's something virtually, Google that stuff and do it in different platforms so you understand what the market actually is. And you can understand what are the competitors, where do I want to be? I always tell my business clients is when they are trying to build a business, take at least three to five people that you know you want your business to look like. Whoever those three to five people is and look at what they are offering. So that way it kind of paints a picture for you, but it's not going to be your picture because you're not going to do the exact same thing, right? But it just kind of gives you some ideas of what your competitor may be offering and what you could offer. This is not to say, and I want to make it very, very clear, you don't go and repeat what they're doing because that's just a repeat and you don't want to be that. Make it your unique thing. So for coaching and consulting, there's thousands of different ways you can go about that, but make it do what feels right for you and what is going to be right for your clients and your customers or whatever you call them, right? So once you do your market research, you can also reach out to people that you know would be a good fit to work with you, whatever service you're offering, and ask them, hey, if this problem was solved for you, what would you be willing to pay for this? What would you be willing to pay for this type of service? How often? Maybe it would be weekly, they would pay $50, or maybe it'd be monthly, they pay $1,200. Whatever it is, do that but make sure that you're also pulling the right people, right? So I always tell people, go to your Instagram stories. If you already have a huge following and you're wanting to offer services, you can do it that way. If not, you can direct message some close friends that you know may be a value that you could bring them value to and ask them directly, what would you pay for this service? And they can give you an idea. Not that you're gonna make it that, but then you kind of know, okay, so these group of people would pay this, and this group of people would pay that. So for example, if I'm going to be coaching someone on business that already has a seven-figure business, right? They're gonna pay a different pay than someone that may just be starting out and has no idea. Maybe they don't have money to invest in, right? So now I get to decide who do I wanna serve and what do I wanna charge? And it's just doing that research. Research is not always the funnest thing, but it can definitely help you determine what kind of price value. You know, it's a little bit different if you're tra for personal training, if you are going to be training athletes, or if you're going to be training someone that just maybe wants weight loss, right? There might be two different price categories. So make sure you look at all of it and then go from there. The other is the experience. So how much experience do you have in your field of services that you're offering. Have you done it before? Do you have testimonials? Even if the testimonials are from clients that may have not paid or someone that did not pay for your services, but they had a good experience, they got results and you went took them through the process of the, the service that you're offering, then that is really, really good information for you because you can also get feedback. So testimonials are great because then you already have social proof that the services you offer works, right? Sometimes we get into our heads 
about, oh, but I can't really, I don't know if I'm really good at that or not. And we have to go back and ask the people that we worked with, hey, can you give me some honest feedback? And by honest feedback, you want the good, bad, and everything because the negative feedback may be the feedback where you need to improve on the services you're going to offer, right? And always ask them to be honest about that. If you don't have any testimonials and you have not started at all and you're wondering, well, how in the world do I get that? Then you can always take the services that you want to offer and maybe give it at a small discount to someone that you know would benefit. In return, they give you some kind of feedback. So that way you know, did I like providing that services? Because that's another thing. You can charge all day long for your services, but if you don't enjoy it and you don't like it, it's not going to be fun and you're not going to want to continue to do it. Trust me, I know. I've tried like so many different things, which I am going to be doing another video on talking about how to niche down on what you really want to do. Because if you know my story, I started out as like a nutrition coach, you know, powerlifting nutrition coach, that didn't work. Then it was just strictly healing work. I got people results, but it wasn't lighting me up. And then I kind of went into business and then I kind of went out of it. And now I'm back <laughs> because I realized business is what really lights me up. So I will talk in a, another video on how to niche that down and how to start finding your niche. If you don't know what your niche is and you're just starting out in your business, or if you have a business and you have no idea what your niche is, because that will take your whole marketing plan. If you don't know your niche, you won't know your marketing plan. But now I'm getting off topic. So back to topic of charging for your services. So definitely take the time to one, figure out your hourly rate, do that formula, understand what is my hourly rate, do it with an abundance mindset because you're gonna wanna make sure that it's the money that you're, you're making, right? Long term, what do you want to make? You know, in one year is 100K, maybe two years is 200K. And the really cool thing is, this is your services at any point in time, you can up your services, right? And I will just as a bonus point give you this. When you know you need to start charging more for your services, is that's when you are maxed out on time wise, but you don't necessarily know. Like, I, I don't know if I should charge more because I may lose some clients or whatever. But when you're maxed out time-wise and you have no more capacity to take on new clients, that's a good sign for you to understand that you need to up your money, your prices on your services. So I know that can that's a whole other topic. We can talk about like how do you go through the process of upping your prices because I've been there where you had that scarcity mindset of like, I can't up my prices because if I do, I'm gonna lose all these clients, which is such a bullshit story we tell ourselves. <laughs> so just to kind of recap, figure out your hourly rates, figure out what it is, how much you wanna make per year. And if you don't know how much you wanna make per year, take what you're making now, add 10 or 20,000, add a number that scares you a little bit. When I used to say, I'm gonna make 100,000, that shit used to scare me. But now it's different, right? Because I'm already there. But I didn't get there overnight. It was something I had to wrap my brain around. Two, after you figure your hourly rate, two, do your market research. Check the markets. Google what people are paying for these services. Understand what problem you are solving. And then also reach out to people to understand what would they want for their, how much would they pay for their problem to be solved? And the last one is what is your experience? If you have the experience, you can charge a little bit more. And if you don't necessarily have any experience, start charging where you you know feel comfortable, but maybe a little bit stretched because sometimes we have a hard time charging for our services. But take all of those, do the work, show up and actually do the work for your business because in the long term, if you don't understand any of that, then that's gonna be really challenging for you to be able to grow your business because not everyone, even once you figure out what you are charging for your services, you're always gonna get one or two people that come to you and be like, you know, you offer you know, one-on-one -on -one coaching, you offer group coaching or whatever it is, but I'm really looking for X, Y, Z. And then you can kind of create that package for them when you know your hourly rate because you know how many hours you're gonna spend on it. You also know the amount of time on the back end you're going to spend, how much time you're going to be coaching them and all that. And you can kind of compile it into like a personalized package for them. That's what I do with some of my business um, clients. 
not everyone wants their their business mapped out or wants a strategy they just want xyz and i figure out how many hours that takes and then that's how i base it on i don't necessarily have any group programs at this time that i'm doing but i am thinking about doing a business one-on-one course like how to get started and how to expand and all the things that you need and all the things you don't need because you don't need a website you don't need all these fancy things to actually get started in business and i've also been thinking about doing a money mindset um, business course because money mindset and really ties into the amount that you are charging for your services. I've worked with people who have tons and tons of clients, but they are undercharging, they're burned out, and they don't, now they have to switch that mindset to actually start charging their worth. And that's another thing is knowing your worth and don't go by what someone has told you what you're worth, but really knowing what you are worth. So. I hope this video was um, so helpful. Do me a favor, subscribe, share this with someone that you know is going into business or that already has a business and they're kind of wondering what should I be charging um, as far as my services. And if you have any other business questions, you can always go to emilyadams.net, put in the contact form what your questions are. If you have other business topics that you want me to cover, feel free to always reach out. I'm always more than uh, happy to help and support and answer any questions that you may have.